You shall make it with lower, second, and third decks. Using what's known as the small cubit, that makes the arc approximately 450 feet long, 75 feet wide, and about 45 feet high, with three decks, a door, and a window. So this ain't no canoe or a bathtub boat with giraffe heads poking out of it. This is a huge, seaworthy vessel. The total available floor space on the arc would have been over 100,000 square feet. The total cubic volume would have been 1,518,000 cubic feet, which is about the capacity of 522 railroad stock cars. Did you catch that? 522 railroad stock cars. Have you ever been driving and you came up to ding, 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 ding? Not a good day. Do you know how big 522 railroad stock cars is? I did the math. I'm kind of weird like that. 522 railroad stock cars. 5,280 feet in a mile. A stock car is about 40 foot long, right at 40 foot long. And then you do the math, that comes out to 132 stock cars in a mile. Now, if you divide that you're talking four miles of train. Do you want to be on the other side of the track when the four mile of train is coming? Guys, this is not some rinky dinky boat with giraffe heads poking up out of the chimney. This is a huge vessel, it has plenty of room. Ah, oh, but we didn't answer. We still didn't answer. How many animals that size would fit on a boat that size? Here we go. So we're getting down to the nitty gritty here, folks. How many sheep can fit into 522 stock cars? Well, just so happens I know the answer. The average double deck railroad stock car can fit about 240 sheep. Now that's a lot of wool. So 522 stock cars holding 240 sheep sized animals each gives us the hefty total of 125,280 sheep sized creatures that could have fit onto the ark. Remember, we only needed to fit 30,000 on it. And 30,000 is almost two times the already generous estimate of animals necessary to represent all the species we see today. So it's easy to see that with more realistic numbers, there was plenty of room for cages, food, and even fresh water for the duration of the year-long stay that these animals had to be on the ark. And you know what? Ark researchers have studied this too, and I'll let you look that up. So there you have it. Simple reading of scripture, simple math, basic science. This fallible claim against the Bible is debunked. Adios.